So, first round, first match of the day. It is yeah, Rise of Service against Yeah, buddy. It's going to be in Kur Castle, Bansar, Sakali, Melissa, Sifanario, Falcon at the Gurners, and Shinji Grenadier. So, these teams not enjoying the exotic units. They want to get down and dirty with their infantry and their calf. So, let's find out what they plan to do with it. You can see triple purples along the way for now. Uh, lots of triple purple, actually. I wonder if they will switch it. Um, a few less malls this time compared to last week. A lot of muskets on the Why so serious side. So let's see what we got. So, all right, so shield maintenance. Act oh, yeah, that's shield maintenance. Uh, getting brought in, then a good mix of Fort Baccio, Impikes, Imperial Spear Guard on the side of Why so serious. And then we got a couple jabs here. So perhaps looking to poke out then a strong Crescent Monks Fort Baccio combination. Couple of shields mixed in there. But that is, yeah, buddy, once again, just like last week, very clear on what they want. They got like very, very clear idea of what the matter is right now. Fort Baccio, Crescent Monks, and then just a few shields. And um, also bring some calf. There we go, Lancers. There we go. Uh, couple them with Claymore unit. Claymore, very effective when you're fighting big fights. So it might be a difference maker. We're not seeing any Claymores on the other side. Of course, also some Camels, but not that heavy on cap. So it's going to be a cool match, I think. It will be a good one. All right, so booming team captain from yeah, buddy, very confident in saying they are aiming for that first spot, of course. Whereas Greece and also their team captain, I don't think he's joining today though. So Greece might be picking it over to today with Drinky on the strategy side, but they are very focused on getting that fourth spot. They want to win against all the bottom teams. And then they want to upset some of the top teams. So this might be their first chance to do so. All right, we're going to follow a couple players here and see what's going on. Let's find out where the defense is going to be. With all those heavy shields and also the monks, I could see a potential like a defense perhaps, like blocking all the entrances, trying to dodge the traps. It could be very well done. Got a climber up here, so we'll see what's going on. Traps are already being used, so normally we'll see the attacker, of course, getting all the stuff there. All right, doesn't look like those will be climbing up. Nope, getting down. Making sure to destroy the battering ram. That's fort. We got everything pushed. Uh, Haitas focusing on delaying the battering ram here. This is a strategy we've been seeing a lot since the last couple of seasons. So they'll be trying to perhaps open the gate and then keep it low. But as you can see, gate already low. Yep, there we go. Oof, nice try with the javelins there. It's not gonna work though. Nami trying to get some of these Fortabrachos here. There you go, got them. All right, so gonna take a quick look at the map. Hopefully, they won't be exploding right now. Looks like team still taking the time. What series rotating? I think to this siege tower by the looks of it. All right, so we got a new B point. We got a new supply point for those who don't know. Um, we got the final. That's actually changed a lot. So you can even like run over here, get behind it, and then also go past some points on the map. But let's check out where the action is going. All right, so strong rotation from Rise of Sirius. They are bringing pretty heavy shield maidens here. Some crested monks, just one or two, three units. Oh, Wemix new, nice one. All right, so why so serious? Really confidently taking the wall. You can see, yeah, buddy, sitting on the A point though. And definitely sitting down there with the shield made and the monks in order to protect that bottom. So you can see there's going to be like a rotation probably from this group with the monks to the Imperial Shipyard Guard and the Javelins to this side. And then the guys over here might be going up, try to get in a flank if West Series decide to go push for the A point. But right now it's just poke back and forth with the musket bombs. Of course, no exotics. 
We found Balthasar getting in there with the Claimers, another really fast unit that can destroy you quite well. We also got a unit of, uh, I think those are Red and Rangers, are they? Yep, yep, alright, so look at this, Red and Viper, so they reduce damage. Very effective with their reduced damage, so that means that uh, if they get time and they get the stacks on the front line, and all damage dealing units or heroes, those units and heroes from the body are not going to deal a lot of damage anymore. Alright, so why is it serious? Covering the back with the end of shield maintenance and the hop sergeants there. Another pickup from Dunkel Kagan, nice one. That's going to be a good one. Alright, and we can see here, there's the trap going to fly in, but that's going to be too little too late. So now, yeah, buddy is going to collapse on both sides. They're going to look really strong here. Got two sets of claimers there, so they can last a long time with the reduced damage. And we got a really fast squad there with the shield maidens and also unit of uh, Star Wars there. So why so series gonna be really good with the traps here? But as you can see, oh no no, no all right, we got a couple, but just the Star Wars actually ten down already. For the virtual covering the gate, but no thing out there yet. Height are getting the kill. Ooh, that wasn't good. It's awesome. All right, here we go. Here we go. Red and Vipers pushing, got a trap, but that's going to be way too far, I think. Might be good in rotation, though. On the point, the claimers are flying in. We're gonna see the fight collapsing. Backside from Yeah Buddy and White Series also colliding. Looks like Yeah Buddy is going to have a hard time at the back front, but at the front line, they're pushing through. They got the Vipers, and they're now pushing and collapsing. Another trap might fly in. Actually, it might have been better to point it on the other way because the building was blocking so many. And this is a clean wipe from yeah, buddy against White Osiris, proving that they are indeed better. Haita getting another kill here. He's going to do his best on the long throw. And there we go. Farai Scuderia also picking up another kill against Bubbles. Haita picking up the kill against Grease, the team captain from White Osiris. You can see yeah, buddy going back to the supply right away. And as you can see, also see gate closed. So. All bases covered here, even the battering ram not fully pushed, so this means that White Series needs to rotate to the other side. Yeah, but he has time to get inside the city with new units set up and make sure that they have the rotations ready for another fight. Ooh, lots of calf spawn here. But the question is if that even makes any sense because the battering ram is still not there. Height is still delaying against those shield maidens. No name Vicio. Still having all of those, but definitely delaying. And you can see White Series trying to gain the tempo here on this match. Sending someone to the B point, sending a couple guys to the supply, and this is going to be a fight. Three, four, five, six, six against four right now, but of course, yeah, but he got the unit, so I'm not sure if they will be able to get it. Point is being captured. But yeah, buddy might be able to get these heroes and then. Why is the series is going to be delayed? Ooh, Crescent Monks here are getting in the fight, but they're gonna get wiped. That's WRZ. Crescent Monks, they're going to be killed. So why the series is trying to get some creative plays, but they need to find their group together, get their units in there as well. Because yeah, buddy, inside the city it just has to foster rotation. Uh, a point is a bit weak right now, so you can see why so serious spotted that out, trying to go for the other side. They may want to risk some traps, but if, you, if they try to trap inside like these alleys, the risk of hitting their own units on top of the walls is very big. Let's see if Voice of Series can actually block the units from getting in there. This might be interesting. You can see I know them Vizio with the shield maintenance. He needs to get in there, block all those units from getting up, but Dudota already getting a kill against Fatsal. That's a good one. You can see a fight in the back as well on the right side of the screen. Ooh, Voice of Series not wanting to go on that one. So they're retreating quickly, but their Imperial Spear Guards might be catched, catched out, I think. Yeah, Buddy is just running over them around the web, map right now. This trap is not going to hit a lot. Probably should have been aimed at the backside there. Ooh, it's a nice hit though. Just getting the one. Maybe the second. Nope, that's a miss as well. Winky and a squad with Grease as well. Both team captains sitting in there, but they're gonna get killed. Grey hair is not gonna last long. Oh, this might be a good trap, but it will be enough to actually conquer. Like, Pananami is trying to get with his calf inside the city, but his Forte are just stopping everything. No name Vizio, though, getting on the A point, but no units there. His shield man is already dead. And you can just see 
Yeah, buddy, jumping down, make sure no supply cap, no B cap, and even the gate's still safe. So we got a couple of units of calf now. Some players from Why So Serious might be only sitting on calf, and that's not going to do well for them. Because getting through that gate, even if there's no exotics, it's going to be really, really hard. With all those Crescent Monks there, with all those Fartobaccio there. You can see the amount of Crescent Monks just absolutely nuts right now. Alright, let's take a look at the standing. So, Brave Hakan getting a really good 98 unit kills right now. 4 0 and 11, he's doing great so far. All the guys from Yabuddy, yeah, high in assist. Uh, Haita also, 4 0 10, doing really, really well. But Brave Hakan definitely looking, looking to go strong and nifty as well, sitting on his Hussar. So, he might be getting a clean wipe in just a bit here. Two minutes left on the clock. B is almost fully capped, but I don't feel like yeah, but he's going to let them go there. With all this calf, the only way I think for White Series to get anything done here is to go for the B point though. As you can see, these for the Braccio. They're getting ready. This is going to be the final push. Why so serious? Can they still sense some kind of delay or like? Oh no, here we go, here we go. Alright, so push going on. Rinky trying to jump in the back line. That's a really good, good one. Kev, maybe too soon. Chevalier's though, so the retinue might be shooting. Camels still need to get in. Counter Kev, here we go. Can they make it through? Looks like units are not fully braced inside the gate by what serious for the Braccio from. Yeah, buddy, continuing to move forward. Whoa, those Huzar is actually getting wiped from Vessel. Kills getting through. 1 minute 18. We are capping though. Rinky and Overlook. Oh, heck, they might. They will get it. They will get the B point. So the win will probably go to, yeah, buddy, but the B point, no, no, one second. Oh, Rinky, he just got off a bit too soon, wanting to go for the final, uh, but that's Overdog sitting on there right now. Too bad, buddy. Enjoy the grass. Smoking gun, but no powder left in Why So Serious. The nut trap is going to fly in. It might get a couple, but it won't get all of them. Ooh, that was a good dodge there. Alright. So, action-packed match for sure. Looks like Pananami might be getting picked up as well here. Yeah, but he's just hunting for players now. Heights are getting another couple kills in there. He's been doing really, really well for this team. Absolutely one of the outstanding player players on, the t on this longbow. One of the few that you probably should allow to pick up the longbow. Um, yeah, just chilling here. Oh, Kizu also still alive, just trying to get that single second <laughs> on the B point. But absolutely denied here. A good win by, yeah, buddy. Convincing defense, nice rotations. And we can see very solid A and B defense, actually. Very, very nice. So I think we saw the advantage that you can have as a team on this map. Very strong. All right, so Kizu... Striker Roku getting the good ones for Wise Series. You can see the amount of unit kills like Wise Series just not fighting, finding the right fights that they wanted. Nifty on the other hand though, 509, 162, great score. <laughs> That's the one you need. Getting all those vessel longbows as well. And then all of these guys just picking up tons of assists. Ferrari Scuderia, formerly their team captain, 20 assists. That's a nuts amount. Also, Plebs Height is sitting on 7 hero kills, picking up a couple new ones at the end. Great, great scores from these guys. Let's look at the fight. Yeah, this has it all, right? Last one was a bit closer, but not even close, so really, really good one there. Alright, on to the next. Woof! I like it. That was a good one. That was feisty. <laughs> exactly don't need units don't need runes all right so yeah but he's showing up really really strong there we're gonna get the next one on the way as well uh let's see why so serious There we go, spending a couple bronze coins and we get the second game underway as well. This was a solid, solid defense, uh, real quick as well. So let's find out 
how well Wise Osiris can defend now that they've seen the defense from your buddy. Not having Exotics makes it look very, very hard to actually fight, like, through the gates. Having to walk into so many for Tavaccio, backed up by those um, Crescent Monks that, like, they may not be the best in charging and getting into something, but if something comes to them and you don't need to be fast, really, really strong unit, extremely strong. And the Cav, you could see, like, the Cav doesn't do a lot unless you actually like get through that a point but that's just not going to be to be easy all right getting the bands in once again so sicalian sifo the shenji and then we also had the falconetti Woof. <laughs> yeah. Why so serious? Maybe they ah, they could have taken a B point. I mean, that would be something at least. Uh, extending the match for like three minutes or something. But well, I guess not. I guess not. They didn't want it. They needed to go to the next match. <laughs> could have given them some time though. Hmm. Alright, so just going back to the predictions then, uh, since you guys actually predicted a couple, uh, I should be able to get it for you. There you go. So, why is the series? Yeah, buddy. 7 for Love Innovation right now, 19 for Yeah, buddy. So, go to the Discord, you wanna get your votes in for the last one. Um, why is the series still looking for the tie? But, yeah, buddy, doesn't look like they wanna give up that one, so. Um, We'll see, we'll see. Alright, we're gonna get the teams back into the custom lobby there. And like strong, strong performances on both sides. Absolutely. But yeah, pretty clearly like so much better right now. And like I said, they are one of the the only teams that I've seen so clearly decide on what they want to play. Welcome Achuka, welcome Glads. <laughs> Good to see you in there. So far, core cast on defense, 100% win percentage. Well, let's see how it does on the attack. All right, so we're gonna go back. Yeah, buddy, already into the lobby. White series got a couple minutes to get in there. So 
Wait, what? Oh, no, my bad, my bad. Oops. <laughs> Alright, the other way around. Why is the series ready? And now we need to... Uh, to get the guys from... Yeah, buddy, in there. Alright, waiting for one more, and we're good to go. Alright, looks like team is ready. So, here we go. So, game two, first round of today, Core Castle. Ben's still the same, yeah, buddy, leading. So, we're gonna switch the teams here. Yeah, yeah, buddy, leading 1 to 0. Uh, why so serious? Need to pick up a game if they want to get a point out of this match. Looks like, uh, yeah, but you know what they were doing. Same setup for the attack, almost as in the defense. Wonder if they will get something new in there. But even the uh, Retiaris from Ring Room Bolt Source look to stay the same. Very low on cap as well, like only three right now. And then on the was a serious side we can once again see strong set of um, shield maidens also Ferengi and we haven't seen those in, long, in a couple of weeks now got some javelins but not enough to destroy any towers I think and even the houndsman from known in Visio was on the front line with the shield maidens a lot in our last game Haita switching to the pike this time a few more heavy Weapons on the side of uh, Yeah, buddy and looks like uh, white story is sticking to the same weapon classes for most of their players <laughs> And streaming and it easy All right, there we go. Yeah, buddy's attack. Let's see what they make of it. If Wise Series win this one, then we know for sure Core Castle defense favorite. So let's find out. Here is the map, the revamped map. B point, supply point, A point, supply point. It's actually an interesting map, I think. You need to get past that A and B points. Very different. Like B point, you want, may want to get some calf because the defenders can pull out like calf from any supply point basically if you want to go to the B point. But you can't just get the calf in as the attacker unless you like break open the gate and get through there, and that's going to be quite hard as we could see from our last fight with Yabody and the West series. So interesting, interesting. All right, we got some climbers up here. So let's see where they're going. Traps flying in, booming Kagan, Ferrari, Scuderia, and Baltus are trying to get up there. Quickly getting kicked down though. Getting the one kill from there. Uh, these guys aren't going anywhere because of the Scorpio. So that needs taking out quickly. Lots of units on there though. What's this? Oh, Alright, so they are trying to destroy the tower as you can see. So a double javelins and a coverance may be enough to destroy this tower. And that will allow Yeah, yeah, but he got it spotted right now, so boom and carry gonna go I trying to get it, but there we go. So the tower destroyed, nice one with the javelins there. And then the other two towers are going to hit, but that's this means that there is basically no rotation from Yabody yeah, to the B point unless they want to go over the wall, but it's going to be so easy to spot. Um and there, there's really no way out, so... Smart move here, and also... We got the battering ram still not reaching. It's getting closer though. But you can see the muskets and Nami on the longsword, making sure that that doesn't reach. Isonetic is trying to push back Nami though. I think he might be low. 
Yeah, yeah he's getting. I still like trying to fight for that, like, wall domination. <laughs> right? Yeah, they need to start blocking this if they want to get it. Looks like it may fair at all reach. There will be some Imperial Spear Guards pushing it now. Yeah, so yeah, buddy. Doing what Wise and Serious didn't do in their uh, first game. So making sure that the Wedding Ram is there. Because especially now with that tower gone. It's not even being pushed right now. The one on the B side. Um, they want to make sure that they are able to get back into the city with a quick rotation. Like just being able to get through the gate. Block the supply point. Um, when the fight is like going long. Will mean that... Uh, you can do something. Alright, Nami actually getting killed there by Scuderia. Nice pickup though from BRZ. Kizu jumping down though. And Imperator is going to get another one, I think, here. Ugurai. Ooh. No, no, no. Not getting away. Not going anywhere. Windcrow picking up the kill there on the mall. Baron <laughs> Ram still not reaching. Like, the fight is real here. And this is the Houndsman. So, Houndsman doing work there actually. Delaying that Baron Ram really, really well. You can see the bombs flying in, like, it is kind of silly, but this is not going anywhere. Ooh, damn. Shield maintenance even, like, Wester is trying really hard, but there we go. Okay, main gate breach this time. We saw a couple losses there. So, as you can see, like, nothing gray, only purple and gold there on Wester series. So, strong setup. Alright, gate push straight away. Strong push here. Alright, Wise Series not really ready for this one. A really strong push from Wise Series inside. They even got some of these uh, staggers here, shield maidens and whatnot. So, three side push on the A point. This is going to be really hard for Wise Series. They need to like capitalize on this something because this group sitting there is just not going to do anything because the main push from, from Yabuddy yeah, right now is sitting on this side. Striker, Quill and Alderaan Bond, they need to get the units ASAP and maybe that way they can actually create a flank. Uh, going to get Bubbles in the backline though, this might be good one. Alright, here we go. So, engaging from all sides from yeah, buddy. This means that the flank from Wise Series can actually come through, but yeah, buddy already get pushing on a point really strongly. They've pushed their way through on the left side of the screen right here. And also pushing, going to push through on the, on the other side as well. Flank coming in from Wise Series with the Javelins, but I don't think they've got enough. Hero kills flying in, Bird of Chin, Pudota, Wincrow, all killing players and we can see that teams are dropping quickly and also yeah, buddy still delaying on the bottoms there as well. No new response will be coming in anytime soon now. Javelin's not good for extended fight, so Crescent Monks still fighting on the point. Couple guys here left from White Series, but this was a really, really good push from yeah, buddy. No one and Fisher trying to run away from Wincrow, who's inside the city already. You can see Bubbles' flank didn't really work with this Hasashinch. And already A is being captured, secured, and now we're gonna go and see an endpoint fight here. These Jeffins were saved, they were used to destroy the tower, but it wasn't enough to really delay them enough. Looks like the longbow is still good to go, so they'll be set up here all the way in the back. Alright, so let's take a look at the units here. So as you can see, like lots of units were killed on the side of uh, yeah, buddies. They're switching them out now. But even then, like maybe half a push was lost from yeah, buddy. Skyker Crow trying to find something here, but he may not get away. Or will he? All right, B point captured as well. So 12 minutes on the clock. All right, so things are maybe gonna cool down a little bit. So let's see where they want to take this. As we follow Striker Row here, Isonetic making sure to not let him escape. Imperator as well, getting another kill, he's doing quite well so far. Where is he? There we go. Oh, this one. No, this one. No, no, this one. Six kills from Imperator. He's on fire today. Alright, so what's next for Yabody? Alright, so pushing Simon to the front, got the claimers there, got the Fotobrachia, got the shields there. So that's a good solid. Setup of three units there. Main push is going to come from the top though, from what it looks like. We can see a trap already going to fly in. That may hurt. Reapers even in there, I haven't seen those for a long time. Alright, so looks like a safe spot there, thanks to the building. 
And now what are we gonna get? So Javelin's still there from back leg wing. Looks like yeah, but he's not making any attempts to actually get this location. It's not a trap, not gonna hit most likely. The houndsman there are though, quite tricky. Alright, we can see the calves out this time though. And actually right now like not that much on the point. Alright, yeah, but he's trying to make a push there. Main group not engaging. Oh, this might be... This might be really tricky there. Oh, a Synetic. Getting a good one. Greece realized they need to reinforce their main push. Right, like their, their gate. But now the main push from Yavuri is coming. And that's not something they were expecting. This trap is going to hit on the Houndsman. Nice dodge though. But even then, the front line from Yavuri really holding strong. Why the series need to fight up the stairs. And that's not an ideal location to be fighting. So this is going to be easy pick of Rinky going down right there. Front line from Wester Series is gone. Yeah, buddy, already on the point, and Wester Series look back, start to realize what's going on. Isonetic once again, after he just pushed that gate with his unit of calf, now sitting on the supply, not allowing Wester Series to get back anything. And it looks like this is going to be a quick match. It's going to be done and over. Two pushes from Yeah, buddy, really, really convincing, very coordinated. Quite a different showing from what we saw last week, and this was a. Uh, a very very good one all right we got dingo kagan here trying to fight his way out of this one overdog getting the camels in there and the usaurus but that's going to be stopped by the fortaracho not going to be enough and if we discuss we just gotta run to the safe point man i'm gonna work out today so yeah buddy picking up the win pushing more serious to the brink and that's it 2-0 win from yeah buddy Making sure they show up strong and they're ready. We got our first match win from them in this season. So yeah, buddy, will be advancing to four, to three points now, getting a, a tie from the first round and now two points from this win, sitting in three points. So they will continue to to look for a season win. Wise series still sitting with zero points, so they need to find some wins over the next couple of weeks. And Ring Crow, nice game there with 509.84. Not that many unit kills this time, of course, because it was only two fights. Um, Lazy Imperator, we can see it's seven hero kills. Taking over from Haita there. Who's actually still performing really well on the pike. Looks like he's having a fun day. Ice and Attic with some good plays on the flank there. He was always like chasing them away. MX New, not going to play his exotics, but definitely killing some of them with the Houndsman. And then we can see all the players here. Whereas Kadaria sitting at the bottom. But they did his job there. Rinky, team, former team captain from Wise of Sirius, tried his best. We could see him as being the last one to drop from the main fight, but still not enough to get the team going. So Wise of Sirius need to go back to the drawing room, get some more scrims in, get their practice in, and bubbles. Oh man. Rep, buddy. Rep. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, Union staff says, says it all, I think, uh, more than anything else. Uh, hero skilled as well, of course, but like, the unit, unit difference, even at the start of the fight and the second one, was just absolute, absolute annihilation. Uh, even outnumbered, yeah, but he was able to push that gate very strongly. So, nice pickup there from, yeah, buddy.